Orca is a worldwide first. A plant capturing carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere and providing it for permanent underground storage. Christoph and I started Climbworks back in 2009. We were skiing in the Swiss Alps and we could witness with our own eyes how the glaciers were melting year on year by meters, not by centimeters. And these kind of observations always triggered the wish in us to do something to mitigate climate change. As engineers, we felt the responsibility to fix this problem. We wanted to develop technology to take CO2 back out of the atmosphere and do this in the context of a scalable company. Currently, the world is emitting about 40 billion tons, so 40 gigatons of CO2 every year. According to climate science, we need to reduce that essentially to zero by 2050. On the one hand, we have to have drastic emission reductions, which is roughly 90% of the challenge. But we'll always be left with a certain amount of unavoidable emissions, something between 6 and 10 billion tons per year, and those have to be addressed by other means, namely by carbon removal, such as direct air capture. The thing about direct air capture is it's land efficient and it can be deployed anywhere on the earth. The only thing that we need is access to renewable energy as well as a place to permanently store the CO2 in the ground. At Climeworks, we have developed a direct air capture technology based on a so-called solid sorbent. You can imagine that as a very porous granulate material such as a, such as a sponge. In the first step, we pass air through the modules, and the CO2 is then captured in all these pores of the sorbent material. And in the second step, we close the module, we heat it up to around 100 degrees Celsius, and by that temperature change, the CO2 is removed from the sorbent material. Then we can extract concentrated CO2 from the module, and then work together with partners who are injecting the CO2 into basalt rock formations, where it is turned into stone within two years. So the CO2 is removed forever from the atmosphere. By building the plant out of modules, we can achieve two main advantages. First, we substantially reduce the construction and installation efforts on site, reducing the costs through mass manufacturing and through mass production. The second advantage of modularity is that it allows us quick innovation cycles. We're very fast to go from laboratory testing to deploying real technology in the field. The major portion of the development phase actually happens out there in the field. And that is why our extensive experience with more than 100,000 hours of plant operation is so important. Today, the carbon dioxide removal business is mainly driven by the voluntary carbon market. So many big corporates, but even private individuals, aim at removing their unavoidable carbon emissions. To scale up this new industry quickly, we need substantial funding, we need to build up global supply chains, and very importantly, we do need trust. And this is why Climeworks delivers solely third-party verified carbon dioxide removal services. Imagine you're climbing Mount Everest. You're not climbing it at one go. There are several camps on the way. And this is the Climeworks approach to solving the scaling challenge. Building Orca is reaching Camp 1. We're now scaling by an order of magnitude to Mammoth, which is Camp 2. And from Mammoth, again, scaling with an order of magnitude to million ton carbon removal level. And from there, we have roughly a 20-year period for our summit push. We start heavy industrialization to the ultimate goal, which is removing billions of tons of CO2 from the atmosphere. Since we incorporated the company back in 2009, the public awareness of a need to remove carbon dioxide from the air has increased massively. And that makes me very confident that over the next decade, this momentum will pick up even more and enable this industry to grow to a climate-relevant scale. We're humbled by the challenge ahead of us, but at the same time inspired by the progress of others. Look at renewables with the right policies and investments they have enabled massive scaling over the last 20 years, which is exact the same scaling that we need for direct air capture. And that is why we are so confident we can meet the challenge.